welcome. This is Lisa Arm with Stock Swoosh Show. A lot of people have been asking me today where I think the market's going. I'm actually on Newsmax tonight at 9.25 if you want to watch on television. I can't tell you where the bottom is because that's absurd when, in fact, you know, uh, the reality is that we're selling off. So it's sort of like, you know, you're asking me to predict where the buying's going to come in. That's impossible. Right now we're selling. We're selling off. I called this. I'm very, I'm so, I'm so gifted. I'm really just blessed that I have such an incredible ability. One, it's my gap rating system, but two, I really do have a gift. So anyways, one thing I can tell you, 100% conviction and no chance of failure is that the market is going to gap down Friday morning. Where? I don't know. Okay. So we're going to sell off today as much as we can, pretty much into the close, 315 or wherever. Probably sell off tonight after hours. Then we have a big number tomorrow morning, Friday, so we're going to open down tomorrow. Whether we rally tomorrow on the gap down or fall, I can't say until I get up in the morning to break the gap. That's the whole process that I go through on a, on a daily basis. I will say that I've been reading the gaps correctly in the market, which is how I, I mean, I called puts that people were in before the sell off today. So that's what makes it so advantageous to trade with me. Whether you do the live trades in the morning and we're in and we're out quick. And actually, we did eBay today in the room. We did what we normally do in the room. We got in and out quick. Okay. That's the day trade side of things. The market overall, though, okay, and any of the options trades I call, which I did call an option in eBay, by the way, anything in reference to the options, the benefit of doing options on the newsletter is that I'm calling trades very early, meaning timing is important with options. So I'm calling them in the pre-market before this big sell-off happens to take them right into the open, which, you, again, which makes the trades hugely profitable today. Or I call trades before a gap down, okay, which is, again, what I'm telling you my expectation is for tomorrow. I will not be wrong. We will be down tomorrow morning. Again, I don't know where. Could be small, could be big, could be medium. I have no idea. But anyways, I when, you, when you're in something, just let me explain it. When you're in a stock and then it gaps in your direction, that's what makes the trade so profitable. So, again, people are going to do what they want today with these. These trades are really up nicely. But, again, if you're willing to hold through this from the calls I made this morning into tomorrow, that's where the big trade's going to be. That's where the big trade's going to be. So, I mean, again, everyone wants to know where I think we're, we, we, we fall to where we stop. How, how can you tell? That's not, that's not what, who cares at this point? Right now, today was a sell-off. And I said this morning in the room, I said in the room this morning, I said 100%, I'm so good at what I do. I said there's a possibility that today we reverse yesterday's bar. And if that happens, look out below. Look out below. I said we're going to sell off the next 24 to 48 hours. Could be into Friday or Monday. And here we go. It's underway today. It's Thursday. So this is just a really nice call. There's so many people right now that are not making money that are active traders. They don't know how to short, which I'm very good at doing. And if you don't know how to short, then you can come and learn and take my class. I teach a class once a month. It's called the Golden Gap. It costs seven grand, and it's absolutely worth every penny. The people who just did the class this week are already making money this week. But if you are someone also that is losing money this year, since the beginning of the year, since January, then you need to learn how to trade and you need a strategy. I go long. I go long stuff. There's stuff I go long. Let's look at some of these things here today that I've been watching. I do go long stocks and I do go long the market, but the placement to do that is not at this juncture. We could have done this yesterday. I was too busy. I didn't look at that in the morning. Crap. But even this is falling today. Here, this is oil. Even this is falling today against the market. Nothing's holding up. When the market sells off, almost nothing holds up. And that's the bugaboo. So we'll see where we go tomorrow morning, but absolutely we'll be down tomorrow. So everyone that's been trading with me has been making money hand over fist if we're doing the trades. If we're not doing the trades, that's a different story. I, I think that, that it, you know, it's, it's been a very easy trading year for me, for me. But for a lot of people, it's been a difficult year. It's been a difficult year. And look for it to get worse. Look for it to get worse for people. This doesn't mean we're going to straight fall off the planet. It doesn't mean that at all. It means the volatility is going to continue. And again, we will go back up again at some point. And whenenever it happens, people are probably going to be short by that point and then losing the shorts. 
you can't just short a falling knife and you can't just buy every dip in something either. The timing counts for every position you put on, day trade, option, everything. That is something I'm very good at timing because I know how to read gaps. Gaps are very important in the market, extremely important, extremely. That's how I'm able to make a call like today. Again, what is a gap? Just gonna do another review. We closed last night at 329.60 and opened this morning at 325.17. Could we have rallied and followed through up to, excuse me, on the gap up uh, from yesterday? Sure, we could have, but I didn't see it that way. But we absolutely could have. You cannot short every down gap. You cannot buy every down gap for gap fill. You cannot short every up gap like CBX today. You can't do that either. This is a gap up that's falling. Just looked at the Chevron. You can't short every gap up. And you can't buy every gap up, okay? So again, it's very specific what I do. That's why I look at 26 points. That's a lot of things, people. That's how I get it right so often. So if I could look at 126 points and never get it wrong, I would do it. But so far today, this is all I've come up with, and quite frankly, it works. Any questions, email me at melissathestockswish.com. Good luck, everybody. If you're interested in the Golden Gap class, the next class is May 21st and 22nd, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, have a great day, everyone.